Hello friends, I am going to talk about SIPs. What is SIP? SIP stands for Systematic Investment Plan. It is a smart and hassle free tool to invest in mutual fund schemes. It is like an RD recurring deposit in the bank where you save fixed amount for a period of time. The difference is that with SIP you invest in mutual fund schemes. These schemes have the potential to beat the inflation and create a wealth for you in the long run. Now the question is can you customize your SIP? Yes, you can. Though the most popular is that customer invest a fixed amount every month, but the investor can customize the way they want to put money via SIPs. You can invest daily, weekly, monthly or quarterly in the scheme of your choice based on your preference. Why should you invest in SIPs? In SIP, you can start with small amount. You do not need to wait for a large amount. You can start with this amount as small as rupees 500 a month and gradually increase as per your income. You do not worry about markets ups and downs. With SIP, as I mentioned earlier, you invest regularly in mutual fund schemes irrespective of ups and downs in the market. As a result, cost of purchase is averaged out over a period of time and you do not need to worry about timing the market. Investing through SIP is very convenient. The amount you choose is auto debited from your bank account at the pre-decided frequency. You do not need to worry about how to invest every month. You get the flexibility. SIPs gives you the flexibility to choose the amount you want to invest, the frequency of investing, the scheme you want to invest in and the time you want SIP to continue. Simple, convenient and easy to monitor. You do not have to take time from your schedule to make your investments. SIP has a benefit of compounding. The key to building wealth is to start investing early and to keep investing regularly. A small amount of money invested regularly for a long run grows to a large sum and you can achieve your life goals. That is the power of compounding. How to start a SIP? For starting a SIP, you first need to get your KYC done. The paperwork requirement for starting a SIP are rather basic. You will need the following documents, PAN card, proof of address. You can show any of these documents for proof of address, Aadhaar card, passport, voter ID, utility bill or driving license, passport size photograph, checkbook to provide your bank details. Once you are KYC compliant, you can start investing in mutual funds. First step, register for a SIP and select the right SIP. It can be done online or through your financial advisor. Most advisors provide personalized financial information and can help you with financial planning and investing. You can diversify your investments. By diversification, you can reduce the risk and also optimize the returns. Disclaimer, mutual fund schemes are subject to market risks. Read all schemes related documents carefully. For beginners, SIP is the best way to invest in mutual fund schemes.